and sharing your problems and thoughts with her about your life. But why you want to drink? Please, Hazel, I want some guts to talk about my husband. Are you that much scared of him? No, no, no. It's not like that. Actually, I can't say bad about him if I didn't drink. After all, he's my husband. <laughs> so called wife things. Saying this, he took two cans of root beer and then you both started having it. Arthur POV, your name is June YN. Married to a dangerous mafia John Jungkook, who is cold personality and rude attitude type man. It's forced marriage to you. He married you to take revenge from his rival. Actually, his rival was in love with you, but you didn't like him. So he get to know about it that you're not interested in his rival. So first he forcefully marry you in front of him and then kill him in front of you. Makes you scared of him. It's been two months you both married. He didn't do anything forcefully with you. He just fulfilling your daily needs. Like he's giving you a luxurious life and you didn't want it an actual. You just want a husband love and care. But he just treat you as a responsibility. Yes. You're impressed with his behavior, but somewhere you also don't like his cold robotic personality. Back to the present, you get heavy drunk in fruit beer. Of course, it happens if you're drunk only once in a year. And the actual reason of drink is to talk about your husband, but you're just talking nonsense shit. You know, Hazel, I'm in love with my phone, but that phone is also in love with someone. <laughs> Who? Charger. But one thing I notice, what? That my love, my phone, spend more time with me. I think he he broke up with charger. <laughs> I think your phone is loyal to you. <laughs> like this, you continue your nonsense shit until your eyes fall on wall clock. Azul, Azul, yeah. Say while having sip of fruit beer. It's time to go home. My devil has been maybe waiting for me. Maybe? Yeah, maybe. Cuz he just scare me like he's my babysitter. <laughs> God. My face of babysitter. Okay, okay, come on. Now tell your driver to drop me. I'm getting late. Yeah, yeah, wait. Saying this, she ordered his driver and his driver safely drop you at your villa. With shaking legs, you're going upstairs, but by mistake, you entered in your husband's room. He didn't realize your existence until he heard your voice, because he was busy in cleaning his weapons. Ah, uh, what are you doing in my room? W what? Your room? Wait, are you drunk? No, no, I'm not. Yeah, don't change the topic, you double-layered devil. What? Double-layered devil? Yes, double layer devil. First layer of coolness, second layer of rudeness, and the devil is you. <laughs> Your cute silly voice makes him smile a little. Seeing this, you said, "Oh, so you're my imagination? What? Imagination? Yes, cause that devil never smiles. You know? Since I know him, I never saw him smiling, and..." I'm 100% sure you're my imagination. So, I allow you to stay in my room. Your words making him thinking about it. Then you said, So, you're my imagination. I can do whatever I want. Hey, 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 stop it. And I'm not your fucking imagination. What? You want to? Me? Your words makes his words lost. I, 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 I didn't say this. Whatever. Seeing this, you stand on the bed and said, I'm falling! Yay! Saying this, you drop yourself from bed. But before you can fall, he catches you in his arms and battles stuff. Then you laugh and said, <laughs> You're so cute! And the devil is so bad. You know, he's in love with his weapons. Can you believe? This man likes his weapons more than his beautiful and hot wife. Listening to this, he put you down and said, You're too much drunk, Jan. Let me take lemon drink for you. Saying this, he went to take lemon drink for you. I wish this imagination was my husband. He's so caring. Saying this, you started seeing yourself from mirror. And in 2-3 minutes, you saw him in the mirror. <laughs> Look, you're in mirror 
to Aranto means you are real in my imagination. Shankar, saying while holding lemon drink. Oh, so according to this, you're also an imagination, because you're also a nerd. Saying this, he went towards the table to put the drinks. Huh? Am I also imagination? Uh, the stress is so tight. Saying this, you went to the drawer and took a loose t-shirt, because it's his room, so that's why there is only his clothes. When he's mixing sugar in your lemon drink, you started undressing yourself. While mixing, he noticed that you are not saying anything. So he take a look on you and his eyes get torn because you are back facing half and dressing yourself, making him little arm. What, 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 what the fuck you are doing, Yan? Can't you see I'm still in the room? Listening to this, you turn exposing your upper body to him. Even you are in your... But still he starts shaking while seeing you like this. Makes you giggle. <laughs> fuck! Do you really want fuck so bad? That you're using that word in every sentence? Both with alcoholic innocent kids. And that's it. It's enough to make him out of control. He hungrily came towards you and about to you, but his gaze meets your innocent gaze. No. No, I can't. Then he took the t-shirt from bed and bore you. <laughs> I wanted to you. No, Yan. You're not in sense right now. No. I want to you. Means I want to. Saying this, you wrap your arms on his neck and show him a cute pouch too. But he removed your hands from his neck softly and said, I will, Yan, when you get back in your sense. Saying this, he go towards the table to take lemon drink. And as he turned, his eyes get widened. Because this time, you're changing your jeans. And again seeing you half, you lost it. After all, men will be men. You look at him and said, You forgot to wear me your pants. It's time to remove it, Chan. I want the real stuff. Everybody listen up. Cause I'll only say it once. I'm gonna show you all the path. If you want it bad, I'm gonna show you every side. Yeah, how you can get it back. Yeah, cause I ain't never done. I'll be number one. Working hella hard until I get just what I want. Yeah, rise just like the sun. Yeah, fatal like a gun. Shooters gonna shoot and I'm gonna shoot until I fall. Yeah, let's do it on my own. So I gotta get through it. And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing. Never give up, never slow till I finally prove it. Never listen to the nose, I just wanna keep moving. Yeah, I put out all the start, it's my only medicine. Yeah, everything I do, I'm just being genuine. Yeah, I'm sick of being screwed, feel my own adrenaline. Yeah, I do just what I do, and I hope you let me in, let me in, yeah. You woke up and find yourself alone in his room with tight pain in your head and lower body. Then your eyes fall on your clothes. You're in his shirt. Wait, wh what, I'm, what I'm doing in his room? A and why my dress is on ground? You stood up from bed. You took your clothes from ground and about to open the door. But before you can open, the door open makes your clothes fall on ground in little shortness. Because Jungkook is standing in front of you with a cup of tea. Jungkook, good morning. Good, good, good morning. Sing while covering yourself from your hands because you're only in his shirt. <laughs> Don't need to hide anything. I've already seen everything. And feel it too. His words makes your eyes widen. W w what? W what do you mean by this? Do you really remember nothing about last night? N no, I, I didn't. Listening to this, Chunko came closer to you. You tried to take a back step, but he holds your waist and pulled you closer to him. Makes his breath touching your cheeks. W w what are you trying to do? Then he put your hairs aside and said, Look at the mirror. Then with little hesitation, you look at the mirror and saw a love at your neck. Makes your eyes widen. Then you look at him and said, Did you forceful? Not even in dreams, Yan. Tomorrow I did it 
with all your permission. And listen, I don't love my weapons more than you. You're still in his arms and his hands on your waist. He makes his grip more tighter and said, Your devil wants to be a prince. I love you. You looked down and said, uh, I don't know from when, but uh, I also feel the same. Listen to this, he took you in his arms and makes you sit on the bed and said, Try to recall about last night, or I need to show you what actually we did. Yeah, no need, I recalled it. Anyways, I bought tea for you. You needed it after such a rough night. Don't say rough again and again. I'm just saying rough. You know what you are saying? Yeah, yeah, stop. Don't need to tell me. I know. No, you don't know. You know what? You just keep saying you want to. Me, you want to. Before he can complete, you throw the pillow on him and said, Yeah, I said no. Stop it. No, I'm not done yet. And yes, you know, you're calling me. <laughs> Imagine it. Imagine it. Jump up. Shut up. Or I will kill you. No, no, no. I'm still not done yet. You're also saying that. Yeah, I'm going. Stop teasing me. I'm not listening anything. You covered your ears with your finger and said, Now say what you want. I'm not listening. Saying this, he tried to uncover your ears and you're just kicking him playfully. With that, you both had cute love fight. And like this, you started a new life with the proper love and care with your husband. Thanks for watching love. Hope you guys love it. This is a requested video. I hope I won't let down your expectations. <laughs> so, see you in my next video. Love you. Take care. Bye-bye.